What's up guys, this is Insidious, uh, as you can see right there, it's pretty obvious, Insidious. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to fix motion blur for Vegas Pro 12. Uh, like if you're rendering Call of Duty videos, anything with fast paced action uh, that has motion blur in it. And Smash is actually the one that showed me how to fix this on mine, so I'm going to put a link to his channel down in the description. Uh, he's actually got quite a few tutorials on... Um, using the dazzle and uh other programs and stuff like that and you know how to make thumbnails he actually got me started making my own thumbnails uh, so yeah you can just check his channel out and get some stuff from him uh tutorials and stuff but uh this is how to fix the motion blur on sony vegas pro 12. Uh, let me get to a part here that actually has some blur to it so you can see what i'm talking about it shouldn't take long <clears throat> and I'm sorry for coughing. I've actually been sick and stuff here lately. And I'm trying to get over it. Okay, right there. You see all that motion blur? This is going to be how to get rid of it. What you're going to do is come right here, right click, and go down to properties. And you can actually watch as I do it. Uh, this is the part that does it right here smart resample, force resample, and disable resample. And you want to disable the resample. So, there you go. All the motion blur is gone. Fuzziness. Uh, so, when you're moving, running, reloading your gun, shooting it out with 15 people, it's not going to be blurry anymore. Uh, I don't know if this this probably would work for something other than Vegas if you've got if it has like a a resample or something like that that you can disable. I actually have no idea what I'm talking about there, but yeah, maybe you should check into it. I don't know. But this is actually going to be uh, also my render settings that I use for my video. And uh, I'll show you the render settings that I use real quick. What I do is uh, you've got your video effects right here. Uh, most of the time it'll start you out, you'll be on Project Media. And you can go to Transitions, which if you're doing a montage, uh, that's the different ways that you can go in between the videos. You know how they have like the sweep and all kinds of other things in between the videos. Uh, that's how to do it. But I won't go into that. And go to video effects right there. And uh, brightness and contrast. You want to drag that down to the video. And um, I know there's people that's got better render render things that I do and you know a lot better looking videos but my videos look a lot better than they used to and I figured I'd you know if anyone else was having problems or anything they could uh use this <coughs> excuse me excuse me uh you take the brightness and the contrast to 0 0.048 you might be able to take it to 0 0.05 uh, and you can go ahead and exit that out and you can go to the color corrector drag that down to the view and you can actually see it over here as you do it um, you go down to the saturation if you mess with any of these you're more than likely going to have a red or green video and uh, that's because I did that I know from experience I take that saturation right there to 1.49 or 1.5 whichever uh, and then you go over here. This is the one that I like the best. Color curves. You drag that down. And the bottom right here controls uh, darkness and shadows. And the top part of it up here controls light. So what you want to do is you want to click down here at the bottom. And drag, uh, drag the shadows down a little bit. And then you want to drag the light kind of up there kind of give it a little bit of a pop to it makes it look crisp but that's how it's going to look right there and this mainly works for Call of Duty videos I've tried it for a few other videos and uh, it did not did not work very well for me at least not for Trials Evolution but anyways that's the render settings that I use and uh, you can see there that my laptop is extremely slow, but 
everything looks nice and clean and bright you know except for shadows shadows don't look bright which is the way it's supposed to be but yeah so that's my render settings and how to fix motion blur for Sony Vegas Pro 12 uh, alright thanks for watching later